So, getting down to brass tacks with recovery strategies. Um, we've got the business recovery. Uh, and what are our critical resources for the business itself? Uh, what is about the, the reputational damage, the business's reputation? Um, what can we do uh, to improve that in some situations? Is there anything we can do in the middle of this situation to generate goodwill? Um, always worthwhile doing it. And again, public relations, communications, media. Um, I have talked about these, but uh, here particularly in terms of reputational damage, uh, that is vital to uh, do what we can to address the damage and not make any more damage. Um, and like I say, you know, hiding things is one of the absolutely critical mistakes. Uh, so, in terms of our business recovery, what are our critical resources? What are our personnel requirements? Do we need everybody? Um, are, do we have cross-training so that some people uh, that we may have lost or uh, are temporarily lost to us uh, because they cannot be reached? Um, you know, can somebody else uh, cover for them? Do we have alternatives in terms of our personnel? Um, do we have alternatives in terms of manual procedures for things that we normally do uh, via systems? Um, records, uh, vital records, um, and, and this is our, you know, our personnel records, um, particularly anything to do with medical records, um, which may be uh, needed. Um, you know, sometimes it's as simple as, uh, do we have anybody with special dietary requirements? Do we have any diabetics um, in our important positions? Do we need to ensure that we are taking care of that? Um, uh, diabetes flares up under stress, and so um, the, the need for testing, the need for insulin uh, may be greater. Uh, than it is in normal situations. So we need to know that. And we need to have those uh, that data and we need to keep it safe because, of course, it's quite private and uh, people are going to be concerned about that. Employee transportation. If we uh, can't do the, you know, certain jobs uh, remotely, um, what do we do about getting our employees around? Um, critical documentation and forms. And again, um, <clears throat> we may have forms that we only use in the event of an emergency. Um, we are having an interesting situation in emergency management here in BC. Um, we are going to an online system uh, and we have... Uh, found that, you know, while there are certain advantages to this system um, and certain things that can be done with it, uh, regardless of situation, um, the full coverage of, of supplying emergency aid in uh, this situation with the online systems is quite limited and restricted by the fact that Anybody who needs actual help and, and needs to get money, services, whatever, um, needs to have a BC Services card. And not many people do, because the BC Services card is not actually a card. Um, you know, you've got your driver's license, you've got your medical card. But um, a, an authentication system for uh, aspects of communicating with the government. And, of course, you know, money would definitely be one of them. Uh, so, um, you know, what... We, we are still 
limited to the manual forms. With the manual forms, we can give, give these people uh, the services that they need. Um, and, you know, eventually we'll work this out. Uh, user workspace and equipment. Um, if we are at an alternate site, you know, they're not in their office. Uh, so, you know, what do they need? Uh, do they need desks? Do they need chairs? Do they need laptops? Probably yes in all those cases, but, you know, uh, what are the needs for them to actually work for us? Um, how do they get to the alternate site? Uh, again, the employee transport situation, communication of uh, uh, these requirements of, of where they're supposed to go, um, and, uh, of course, any security providing access to the site. We need to address that uh, for our critical personnel. And any alternates because some of our critical personnel may not be available. Uh, so, now again, we are talking about recovery here. And in terms of, uh, well, particularly, you know, facility and infrastructure and all that type of stuff that we need to have in place, um, for an alternate site, whatever it may be. What do we recover first? Well, we recover the most critical first. The most critical business units, the most mission critical units are the, the priority for recovery. Um, this is going to come back to us uh, because... Um, when we do restoration, <laughs> we're going to do the least critical first. But yes, at, at this point, we're, we're getting back into business. We need to make sure that what we absolutely need for the operation of the business is what we recover first. So, and, and that covers all the, the elements that we need for the business. Uh, information technology, transport, communications, uh, purchasing, power and authority, um, you know, all of those elements, the, the facility and the infrastructure. Uh, that, you know, those, those parts that are most critical and are needed for the most critical uh, systems are what we recover first. That's our priority. 